end, we have Mr. Pan Yu Cheng, Deputy Director of Hubei Provincial Dep Development and Reform Commission, Mr. Wu Fangjun, Deputy Director of Hubei Department of Economy and Information Technology, Mr. Zhou Qingping from Hubei National Resources, and Mr. Fang Lihua from Economy and Environment, and also Mr. Li Yang from Hubei CDC. First of all, let me give the floor to Mr. Li Yang for updating numbers. As of midnight of May 5th, the total number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in Hubei province was 68,128, with 50,333 in Wuhan and 17,795 in other cities in Hubei. As of yesterday, the new case of confirmed infection in Hubei was zero. And no imported cases reported yesterday, marking 32 days in a row with no new cases reported in Hubei province, while the cities outside of Wuhan have maintained no new infections for 62 consecutive days. As of May 5th, there was zero hospitalized patient and zero suspected case. As of yesterday, the total fatal cases stood at 4,512, and the cumulative discharge patients reached 63,616 as of midnight of May 5th. The new increased asymptomatic cases were 16, none of which developed to the confirmed cases yesterday. 33 patients have been discharged from quarantine, and 633 are still under medical observation. Now I give the floor to Mr. Pan Yusheng to introduce the policies in promoting the construction of major projects and striving to expand relevant policies for effective investment. Friends from the media, good afternoon. Follow the agenda. Now I would like to give you the, a brief introduction regarding the relevant policies in place in order to promote effective investment by carrying out major projects over the recent one year. The Hubei provincial government has such great importance in the key projects. And we are also right now practicing the a key speeches and instructions given by General Secretary Xi Jinping during his visit in Hubei province. Well, coordinating the disease prevention and control and economic and social development. We would like to do everything we can to stabilize investment and to fight the clock to keep up with the original plan in full speed in order to carry out the key major projects and also give the full play of the key investment in an effective manner and let them play the driving role in this special period in order to minimize the impact brought by the COVID-19 outbreak. Based on the arrangement of the provincial government, my department has issued the relevant action plan by focusing on the key projects to make sure that the uh, factors of productions, leadership, and other key milestones all in place make sure that everything needed to carry out the AIP key projects are all guaranteed, including six areas. First, we focus on timelines. So we need to think about the whole plan from end to end. So from the very beginning at day one, we need to think about what we need to carry out the AIP full projects. For the 66 specific projects in eight sectors, provided by Central Treasury Bond that should be better carried out in Hubei. And we also would like to see more projects from the a Central Treasury Bond to be practiced in Hubei. And we should also give focus to the emerging industries as well as the upgrading projects in Hubei and also the new projects in coping with COVID-19 outbreak in order to do a good job to carry out the 13th five-year plan. And the second, we should do a good preparation before the projects kicking 
of. So right now we talk about there are a lot of uh, problems hampering the implementation of the projects in terms of lacking of the a uh, production factors, the a uh, financials. So we need to do a good job in deep learning the requirements. And we should also detail driven manner to learn the full knowledge of the projects, especially we should think everything as possible before the projects start to implement. And third, we should carry out a precise execution of a project. So we need to think about where we should focus and what we need to do. So for the eight key projects, the provincial level projects, new projects should be all in our consideration and we should carry out the a manner in focusing on the a timelines, especially to checking at each milestone. And we should also conduct a precise deployment and arrangement and also let people know exactly their role and the responsibility and to practice a problem shooting manner. Make sure that the a target can be hit at the required milestone. Fourth, the Pro factors of production should go with the projects. Make sure that factors that required by the projects should be well put in place. And the a land usage, the also the other key manners monitored by the environmental department should be fully meet the agenda. And we also should think about how we can downgrade it, discharge pollutions and make sure that we fulfill the responsibility and we should not really just focus on the development. Make sure that we focus on the energy saving and also to do everything in a enabling environment and also meet the a expected results. Fifth, we also would like to see more investment happen in the key projects. We have issued the a document and the measures in promoting the construction of major projects and striving to expand relevant policies for effective investment. And we also have other measures and initiatives in place in order to attract marketing resources and investment. And we also would like to attract more players and available resources back to Hubei in order to see more investment. Six, we also would like to intensify our efforts to improve our business environment, which means we would like to speed up the a governmental affairs by speeding up our efficiency and giving the fast appro approval process and also let the people know exactly their responsibility in carrying out their performance and also by a different jurisdiction, the a projects should be solid carried out by relevant people. Going forward, we will carry out the arrangement made by the a provincial government, make sure we focus on both the a disease prevention and control as well as economic and social development. So we will do the following. First, we will conduct the on-site meetings and we will also learn from others and also learn their best practice, make sure that the we create a good synergy across the Hubei province in focusing on carrying out the key projects in Hubei. And second, we also would like to seize the opportunity provided by the central government. This is a special and a preferential policies in terms of capital projects in Hubei. I would like to better utilize all these provincial policies. And the third, we also would like to carry out the 100 day fights. So make sure that all projects that are ready should be carried out. 
make sure that the policies can play a key role to promoting the effective investment and the major projects. So we also would like to find out the a potential candidates in terms of the a infrastructure construction and the other key in areas in order to promote the a whole economic and social development in Hubei. Now the floor is open. Please identify your media affiliation before asking questions. China News Agency. Recently, Hubei issued the measures in promoting the construction of a major projects and striving to expand the effective policies for effective investment. So, what's the background for laying out this policy? This year actually was a very special one because the COVID-19 outbreak has brought unprecedented challenges to our province, which also means that at this very special time, we should carry out special measures to counteract the impact. Therefore, we should focus more on the key projects and effective investment. The policies actually based on the following three areas. First is in the need of impact imposed by the coronavirus. Hubei province actually was the most seriously heated areas with the largest impact caused by the COVID-19, which reflecting in the key economic indicators, especially in investment. Right now, we look at domestic demand still sluggish, and also look at the international stage, the demand is still declining. In order to stabilizing the investment, we should focus on both demand side and supply side. And investment actually focus on both sides. Under this circumstance, we should speed up the construction of key projects and also seeing all possible ways to enlarge the effective investment. And the second, we should also seize the opportunity provided by the post-coronavirus outbreak. Right now, the biggest opportunity provided to us actually is from the central government. We had a set of preferential policies provided by central government. General Secretary Xi Jinping chaired the a political bureau meeting and focused on from the a foreign trade, the financial monetary policies, all should be more weighted to Hubei province. Therefore, we should better utilize all these policies and should make sure every item will be better executed and also produce the expected results. The proactive the financial pro the policies will be more active and the a prudent monetary policies will be also play a key role. Therefore, we should better utilize the a different opportunity provided by different sectors and also seize the a every opportunities to yield the best results. And third, we should focus on the key milestones and also to give the full support to six stabilities and six guarantees. Investment and projects actually are the two key players in this regard. Right now, we already pressed the button of restart, and also now is the time for us to speed up. Right now, we look at the whole country. We all focus on the construction of a major projects. Hubei province is not an exceptional, therefore, we should intensify our efforts to give a full play to the key projects, let them to play a key role in stabilizing the economic development. China Daily. 
Right now, the disease prevention and control has become a normal practice. So under this circumstance, how Hubei province focus on the industrial upgrading and transformation. The traditional manufacturing industry actually the a key pillar in Hubei province, which is also a key carrier for industrial upgrading and transformation and further economic development. How to realize all these goals? We would like to do the following. First, we will conduct a new round of technological upgrading. For Hubei province, the proportion of industrial, traditional industry actually is taking a large percentage. Therefore, digital, intelligent, green and the cyber manner should be the our key focus in order to upgrading the traditional industries and also let them to produce the effective results in a high efficacy manner and also let them to become the a advanced industry. So we would also to introduce the IoT into these traditional ones and also to see more digital applications happened in the traditional industries. So we will also have the Apollo projects regarding the a digital workshop, digital warehouse and let them be the a good practice and a benchmark for the other players in this regard. And for the a full life cycle, the industrial chain, the supply chain should also be upgraded and also convert to a digital one. And they should also be networked. And also the a management style should also upgrade to the same level and same system. So the production and the service should be all applied with digital and internet. And we also should have the apply in place to encourage the enterprises to cultivate a group of industrial manufacturing solution suppliers, as well as the pilot projects in constructing a digital workshop and a digital plant. We talk about investment actually is a propeller and also the a ballast in promoting industrial development. The size of investment will transfer as the growth of economic development. Hubei actually has the a four national industrial industries and also the a key projects at the national level. We talk about the the a new vehicle system and also the car networkings should also be our focus and we should also focus on cultivating the a cluster of industries as well as cluster of intelligent applications. We talk about that we should find the clock to keep up with the plan in full speed to get more support from the national and provincial level and we we also would like to see that the projects in the pipeline that are ready should be carried out as soon as possible, and we should have the a good supervision carried out from end to end. On top of that, we should also focus on the a market and investment projects. So we would also like to the host a more promotion affairs 
to fill in the gap or the a weak link in Hubei province. So we also would like to be supported by the projects with 100 million RMB and we'll also lay out the a list for management. The projects on the list should receive more support so they can resume and reach the a target output as soon as possible. And third, we should also build up the a platform to link the financial players and the industries together, make sure they share the information. So the banking system or the financial institutions can provide targeted service to the relevant enterprises. And also the national industrial upgrading funds can also be the a shareholder of the key projects. And we also should give a full play to the a different financial platforms. And also to large the a size of the direct financing and also have more channels to issue or get more capital service. My question goes to the Department of uh, National Resources. What kind of the measures do you have in place to further support the construction of uh, major projects? Thank you for your question. Since the outbreak of the coronavirus, our department has practiced different matters to implement the key projects. So first, we would like to get more support from the a national government, the central government, and also from the provincial government. We lower the threshold of our requirements, and we also issued 10 measures during the coronavirus outbreak, make sure the uh, major projects can be implemented in a special time period. To guarantee a supply of uh, factors of production and better use the idle resources, we also issued relevant policies, and we we have a special interpretation on those policies and measures. For the all provincial projects within the year 2020, will be our key focus for the rest projects. We will also follow the a reward and the punished systems. So so far the one airport and the other twenty nine key projects are approved with 625,000 mu of land usage. And we also approved 410 batches of projects with land usage of 623,000 mu, or the 77.6% growth. So like Huixinshan Hospital, Sintal, the warehouse for anti-epidemic purpose. With a total land area 
of 3,187 mu. So we actually the a nanny for the enterprises, which means we provide a good care to the enterprises, especially to fulfill their needs of land usage. Therefore, we went to the each enterprises providing door to door, one to one service. Make sure that the a national policies or the creative provincial measures can be better leveraged in order to solve the issues hampered the implementation of a key projects. Thank you. Ubei Daily. So how the a index of the a key discharge provide a key role in promoting economic and social development according to the environmental protection law. The total amount of discharge actually is one standard for monitoring. So all the enterprises should abide by the law and also follow all these regulations. Over the past one year, Hubei province has strictly practiced the standards of a total amount of discharge. And for the a special projects, we also go with the equivalent total amount of discharge. So any projects, they should first get the approval of the a discharge and before getting the green light. Right now, we practice the leveled manager still. So the prefectures, the township, should be the a responsible holder to monitoring the total amount of discharge within their jurisdiction. Uh, right now, our department has uh, actively support the resumption of production. So for the uh, also practice the key discharge and also prioritize the key projects, giving the priority to the information technology development basic living requirements and other key products. At the same time, also encourage enterprises to hit the standards of the total amount of discharge. On top of that, we also encourage them to further reduce the total amount of discharge. For the amount of additional amount can be transferred as the a other provincial policies, so in order to reach the a win-win results. Yangtze River Business Newspaper. So what's the a digital Constructions play a key role in promoting the key projects. Thank you for your question. This is actually one of our top priority in the recent years. So we have seen a good progress in the digital construction. First, we look at the development of 5G. So far, 2.5 billion RMB has been invested. We have a 5G stations with 
13,000, ranking number one in central space and the top places in China. And we also have signed the contract with the key telecommunication companies and also have six projects out of eight already finished. And we also have the a industrial platforms also in the Hubei. And also have the a pilot projects carried out in Hubei under the a Ministry of Information and Technology in 2019. We have 80 digital bases and 60,000 tools being used to give the support in the 5G. And we also have the industrial park, the Xiangyang Cloud Industry, and also seen a speedy construction and also attract a cluster of uh, companies stationed in these industrial parks. So far, 190 national big data companies in Hubei and also have the a digital or the big data projects at the national level also practice in Hubei. The accuracy of the machine translation so hit 90%. Based on the machine learning, the picture processing, the company in the Hubei also play a key role, and we also have the a key clusters. Also, this formulating is the Aslon in Hubei province. So right now, the a digital infrastructure construction, especially 5G, still has many difficulties. For example, it's very hard to practice. Also, it's a lack of policies to support the further development. Therefore, going forward, we will carry out the following policies. First, we will have more policies in place to give further support. The 5G industrial IoT will be received more support in terms of the factors of production. And we will also help the enterprises to solve the key problems in order to carry out the further development of 5G and also make sure that the land of usage of land, pipeline, electricity, and other energies will be granted with favorable policies in order to lower the burden on the enterprises. And we would also like to see more the earmarked grants issued by central government to Hubei province to support is a further digital development. And we also would give the a more support to the four national industrial bases as well as 10 key industrial sectors. And we will also focus on the a quality control as well as the a leverage and the cooperation of the a production and manufacturing as well as the a completion of supply chain, industrial chain. And we will also further carry out the 5125G plan issued by the Ministry of Information Technology. Make sure that 5G plus LT can play a key role Uh, recently, we worked with relevant players.
to further practicing all these policies and the measures. We would like to select the key sectors leading with the flagship enterprises in this regard in order to have the a demonstrating examples in practicing 5G plus Internet of Things and also to carry out the a industrial scenarios. And fourth, we also would like to plan more projects. We would like to take in the opportunity provided by the further development of a digital infrastructure and construction. We would like to carry out 40 new projects with a total investment of 130 billion RMB. And we also have 200 projects with total investment of 11.9 billion RMB. Right now we have more than 100 projects going on. 95 new projects just carried out in 2020 with a 57.5 investment, 57.5 billion RMB investment. Uh, we will also would like to see the policies can be further leveraged in order to cultivating the new driving forces. Fifth, we also would like to create the resilient and stronger, powerful environment. We worked with Huawei uh, to host the symposium. So we talk with the a representative from the government, from the enterprises, from the academy. So we talk about how we can better support economic and social development as well as industrial upgrading transformation in the post anti uh, post epidemics era in order to creating the industrial environment as well as creating a new highlight for Hubei province. Voice of Hubei. We have the a several projects in the ecology and investment. So what the policies in place? Thank you for your question. The Hubei Provincial Department of a Ecology and environment has such great importance in this regard. Based on the reality, we would like to keep improving the ecosystem and also driven by improved environment and also the favorable policies. So we also focus on the a medical waste disposal products. We focus on two areas. First, we focus on to strengthen the weak links. We talk about that the medical waste should be carefully dealt with, otherwise it will impose danger to people's health and safety. During the epidemic time period, we once faced a difficult and challenging task imposed by dealing with medical wastes. So far, we have a solved the a majority of the challenges, but we still have some short links in this regard. In order to protect people's health and sa safety, our department has issued a number of initiatives totaling 43 with 9 billion RMB 
So that including the a collecting, transporting, dealing, and information processing of a medical wastes. All these products focus on improving efficacy. And we would like to see the capability building and improvement in Hubei, Wuhan, especially Wuhan City and other prefectures. And second, we also focus on key projects in fighting pollution. And this year is the final year of 13th five-year plan and also realizing the a welfare society and also the a key year to fight against pollution. So far, we have seen a good progress in the environmental protection, but the a certain industries has still the a sharp difficulties in protecting the environment. Therefore, in order to meet people's ever-growing needs for a better environment, and we focus on the lucid water, lush mountain, blue sky. Be our three key efforts. And we also focus on the improving the environment in rural areas. So we also have the a number of projects in this regard. Right now we have 25 projects with a total investment of 24 billion RMB to create a better environment in rural area in order to fight against pollutions and also to have a sustainable improvement in environmental protection and environmental cons Conservation. Going forward, we will detail our plans and also maintain and solid the progress we have made so far and we'll give more support to the projects in the ecological and environmental protection area in order to achieve high quality development in Hubei province. Thank you, the journalists and our five speakers at the end of today's presser. Thank you.